Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about how to find the value of x and y given these three figures. Actually, these problems, or itong problem na nakita nyo sa screen natin, is a requested video from our subscriber and follower sa ating Facebook page. So, the first one, this one is actually a square. This is a rectangle. And this is a kite. So, if you want to follow me sa ating Facebook page, you can go to Ako si Teacher Gon or Math Teacher Gon. Parehas nating page yun. So, let's have item number one. So, given this square, as you can see, um, meron tayong two variables. We have x and y. And we are asked to find the value of each variable in each given figure. So, for you to be able to understand or for you to be able to solve for the value of x and y, you need to remember the different properties of square, rectangle, and kite. Okay? So, given this figure, and we know naman na in a square, all the sides are equal. So, given naman yung ating tick marks, ito, 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 at ito, yung symbol na yan, it represents or it says na lahat ng sides ng square ay equal. So, paano ngayon natin solve to? So, before solving this, ang gagawin ko dito, or before we can find the value of x and y, ang gagawin ko, I will create an equation na itong side na to ay equal sa side na to. Sir, pwede bang itong side na to ay equal sa side na to para magawa tayo equation? Hindi pwede itong dalawang to kasi hindi natin ma-solve yung dalawang variable ng sabay. Dapat isa lang muna. So, first thing na gagawin ko, I will create an, an equation wherein I have expressed two different sides wherein they are equal. Let's say for example, this is A, this is B, C, and D. Ang una kong gagawin dito, mga possible natin gawin dito, is A is equal to B. Yan ang gagawin natin. Dahil hindi natin pwedeng i-pair muna yung A kay D because uh, one of the variables na involved dito is letter Y. So I'm gonna use A is equal to B kasi parehas na X yung nawawala. So, what will happen is that, as you can see, yung A natin is represented by 2X plus 1. So, this 2X plus 1. Then, equal kay B in which that is X plus 6. By the way, guys, kapag tinanong nyo ako, sir, if possible din ba na gawin natin yung A is equal to C? Yes, possible na possible yan. Kasi para silang variable X. Pero mag-stick muna tayo sa A and B. Now, so first thing na kailangan natin gawin dito is to combine like terms. I will transpose x to the other side. So it will become 2x minus x kasi dapat combine like terms. At yung 1 naman, transpose natin dito sa kabila. So remember ha, when you are transposing a term, anong nangyayari? Nagbabago ng sign. Okay? So it will become... 6 minus 1. Simplifying this part, 2x minus x, that is simply x, is equal to 5. Ito na mismo yung value ng, five nat ng x natin. The value of x in the given figure, which is a square, is equal to 5. Now, paano naman ping y? How are we going to solve for y? So, nagawin natin ngayon, since yung b natin, since meron tayong value ng x, we can combine or we can equate side B, B equal to D. Pwede yan. Pwede na rin kahit ang letter yung pwede i-combine natin kay letter D. So what we will do is I will use B is equal to D. And remember, your B is represented by X plus 6. Or bagay natin ng konti guys. Unahin natin si D. Gawin natin D is equal to B. Yung D natin is represented by Y minus 5 equal kay B which is X plus 6. First to find the value of Y, kailangan natin gamitin to. Itong value na to. In which we will plug in 5 here sa X and magiging ganda siya. Y minus 5 B equal to 5 plus 5. Itong 5 na ito nang galing dito kasi x is equal to 5. So, pwede natin palitan yung x bilang 5. Simplify natin to 
it will become y minus 5 is equal to 10. And to finally solve for the value of y, yung negative 5 or yung minus 5, ilipat natin sa kabila. Magiging y is equal to 10 plus 5. 5 yan guys, 5. And simplifying this, your y is equal to 15. And this is now the value of y in the given figure. So x natin is 5. Your x is equal to 5. Your y is equal to 15. Ganun lang siya ka simple guys. So let's move on to the next figure in which this one is a rectangle. So rectangle natin, remember, na hindi lahat ng sides ay equal. Obvious naman, di ba? So what we need to do here is to find first the value of x kasi yung y natin ay naiiba. As you can see, meron tayo itong parehas na tick marks. Ang ibig sabihin yan, guys, is that yung dalawang side na yan ay equal. Ito ay equal naman dito. So una natin gagawin is we will equate these two sides and that will be 4x is equal to 3x plus 4. So what I need to do here is I will transpose 3x to the other side and we will have the equation of 4x minus 3x is equal to 4. And simplifying this one, this will give us only x is equal to 4. Ito nang yung value ng x na meron tayo. And para makuha natin yung value ng y, ang gagawin natin, same process kanina, we will equate these two kasi equal sila. Okay? So, solve for y. We will have y plus 2 be equal to its opposite side, which is 2x minus 1. So, remember, meron na tayong value ng x in which your x is equal to 4. So, we can plug in 4 to the variable x. We have y plus 2 is equal to 2 times the value of x, which is 4, minus 1. Simplify natin. y plus 2 is equal to 8, minus 1. So y plus 2 is equal to 7. Then after that, we will transpose this to the other side. Your y is equal to 7 minus 2. And that's it, guys. Yung y natin is equal to 5. Ibig sabihin nito, guys, for this given figure, your x is equal to 4, your y is equal to 5. That's it. Ito na yun. Okay? Next. For the last figure, we have here a given kite. So as you can see, itong side na to at itong side na to ay equal sa isa't isa kasi pare sila ng tick marks. Itong side na to at itong side na to ay equal naman sa isa't isa kasi pare sila ng tick marks or ng markings. Now, to solve for x, we will equate these two expressions. And that will be, solve for x tayo, and that is 3x plus 1 is equal to 2x plus 4. Transpose natin yung 2x kabila, that is 3x minus 2x, yung 1 naman sa kabila, be equal to 4 minus 1. Pag sinimplify to, ito ay x is equal to 3. Ganun lang siya kasimple, guys. Ngayon, since we already have the value of x, ito naman yung tatrabaho rin natin. We will solve for y. In solving for y, ang i-equate natin ito, yung y plus 4, be equal to 5x minus 2. Remember, your x is equal to 3, so we can plug in 3 to the variable x. That is y plus 4 is equal to 5 times 3 minus 2. y plus 4 is equal to 15 minus 2. And y plus 4 is equal to 13. And after simplifying this, nakuha natin yung 13, transpose natin yung 4 sa kabila. That is y is equal to 13 minus 4, and finally, the value of y is equal to 9. Ganun lang sa kanyang simple, guys. Ibig sabihin, in this given figure, your x is equal to 3, 
your y is equal to 9. That's it, guys. So, I hope na natutunan niyo yung mismo lesson natin for this video. And sana kung makita mo tong video natin sa nag-request ito, matutunan mo. Hindi mo lang siya basta kopyahin. Kung bag bagkus, intindihin mo yung discussion na meron tayo. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gorn. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!